Hi everyone, this is Dave reaching out to you from uh, Q's Incorporated, Amherst, New Hampshire. We're atop a uh, new uh, Elliott M43R. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about winch cable maintenance, inspection and maintenance. <clears throat> this being a new truck, we're not going to run into any problems, but uh, things that you should be aware of uh, on these cables is both the inner core of the cable and the exterior windings of the cable. The inner core nobody sees, nobody thinks of, but it's the part that corrodes and you just don't know that it has corroded. One way to prevent that is to maintain your cable properly. Um, and you can do that by keeping it clean and keeping it lubricated. There, are, Some manufacturers may recommend intervals at which you should do that. Uh, I kind of look at the cable and decide whether it needs to be cleaned and lubed or not, and it, it's really a visual inspection. Uh, above and beyond the visual inspection, what you should do is test your cable. Don't do it with a bare hand. Always use gloves and always use a rag. And what you're going to do is run this up and down your cable a couple of times to check for broken strands. There's a broken strand there that you'll barely see by a naked eye, and if you run your bare hand over it, it'll cut you wide open. So that's why you need to be gloved and use a rag. If you do use a rag, it'll catch that strand immediately. So it's a great, great uh, telltale sign of your cable starting to go downhill. Steel cables, like everything else made of steel, require uh, protection from moisture and dirt. Uh, if you don't protect them, they will corrode and that will certainly um, speed up the wear and breakage of your cable. Uh, you have to lubricate it with whatever the manufacturer recommends, uh, if it's a, an Elliott or a, a Versalift or, or anything, uh, always go follow your, your maintenance manual. The recommendation should be there. If you don't see anything, please don't hesitate to give us a call and we'll gladly uh, give you any uh, tips, pointers that we can. So your cable uh, should be first cleaned, uh, which you can use something like a, a WD-40 or um, a PB blaster, just something to cut the, the nasty grease on there if it's been out there for a little while. Like I said, this being new, there's not a whole lot to clean. Uh, but uh, on a used cable, you should keep an eye on it and you should keep it clean. Once it's cleaned, relatively dry, that penetrant has actually worked its way down while you were cleaning to the core of the cable, which you don't see. And that's what lubricated the core. The core is lubricated, now you have to lubricate the outside. The best way to do that without messing up your entire machine is to spray some lubricant on a rag and then run the rag up and down the cable. And what that's going to do is just evenly coat your cable and prevent it from getting damaged from uh, rain, moisture, and so on. Um, the cable really should be done full length, but you rarely have a cable exposed full length when you're using it. My recommendation is that you work your way back to the main spool where the cable is coming from, and uh, that'll, or should give you some telltale signs as to what's going on. Um, you look at it for being wound. Well, what you want to watch out for is that the cable stays wound correctly. It'll drastically reduce the wear and tear. And once again, getting back to the cleaning and lubrication, uh, let out as much as you can, as much as you dare, and uh, get it down to as small an area that you can. Easily done by elevating your boom, telescoping all the way and dropping your cable. Once you're down to that last few wraps on the winch, then you spray that with a little lubrication as you're winding up. And with every layer that winds up, just spray it a little bit. You don't want to get too carried away with the spray. If it's dripping, you've put on way too much. Uh, if you can't see it, you haven't put on enough. There's a fine line there. Um, if you follow those habits, if you get into those habits, 
your cables are going to last a good long time, very possibly the life of the machine, and um, keep you safe in the, at the same time. If you have any questions, uh, concerns, uh, comments, please, uh, you can reply to the video, uh, or you can call us here at Q's. Um, our number is going to be right on that video. Our web address is uh, www.qsequip.com. And our 800 number is 258-1010. Be glad to help you with any parts, product, uh, points, on, um, yeah, points on maintenance, uh, service for you, anything you need. Please don't hesitate to call. Thank you.